Welcome back to Learn PHP on Code Academy. We're in the Introduction to PHP Functions section. This is passed by reference. We can invoke functions with variables or with values directly. When we invoke a function with a variable as its argument, it's as if we're assigning the value held by that variable to the function's parameter. We assign a copy of the value held by the argument variable. The variable argument and the parameter are distinct entities. Changes made inside the function to the parameter will not affect the variable that was passed in. Here we have function add x takes in param. In the function code block, we have param is assigned param concatenated to the string x. We then echo param. Outside of our function, we have variable word assigned hello. We invoke add x and pass in word, it prints hello x. When we echo word, it just prints hello. Let's walk through the code above. We define the function add x, which reassigns param to its previous value appended with x. We define the variable word and assign it the value hello. We invoke add x with word as its argument. During the function invocation, param was reassigned in the function printed hello x. When we printed word after the function was invoked, it remained its original value hello. If we do want to make permanent changes to a variable within a function, we could prepend the parameter name with the reference sign. In this way, we assign the parameter to be an alias for the argument variable. Both will refer to the same spot in memory, and changes to the parameter within the function will permanently affect the argument variable. Here we have function add x permanently has the param, but this time there is the reference sign. Within our code block, we do param is assigned param concatenated to the string x, and then we echo param. Outside of our function, we have word is assigned hello. When we invoke add x permanently and we pass in word, it prints hello x. And this time when we echo word, it also prints hello x. In the add x permanently function, we made param a reference to the argument. When we invoked the function with word, the changes made to param permanently affected the word variable. Let's practice. Our instructions say create a function, convert to question. It should take a reference to a string variable as its argument. The function should prepend the string with do you think with a space and it should add a question mark and a new line character to the end of the string. So the string no would become do you think no. Example is assigned I'm nice. When we do convert to question with example passed in, it would print do you think I'm nice. So let's do that. Let's run that. And we do pass. 2 says great job. Let's test your function to make sure it's working properly. We've provided you with three variables, string 1, string 2, and string 3. Invoke your function three times, once with each of the three variables. Let's do that now. Let's run that. We do pass. 3 says at the bottom of your code, use echo to print each of the string variables to confirm that their value has been permanently changed. Let's do that now. Let's run that. And we do get our strings printed to the console. Do you think you have teeth? Do you think toads are nice? Do you think brown is my favorite color? So what we're learning here is pass by reference. And what it allows us to do is permanently change variables that are passed into arguments. By default, the variable argument and the parameter are distinct entities. Changes made inside the function to the parameter are not going to affect the variable that we pass in. If we do want those changes to be permanent, that's when we use the reference sign in our parameter. In so doing, we are telling PHP to permanently change the variable we pass in. As long as you're understanding that, you're getting passed by reference, and I'll see you in the next lesson.